Fiction recap here. Today I will explain a 2009 British fantasy drama film called Skellig. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. At the beginning of the film, a young boy Michael is seen with his parents visiting an old house. Michael's mother was expecting a child. Michael's parents were overjoyed about the impending arrival of their child. As a result, they weren't paying attention to Michael. Michael was irritated as a result of it. Michael's parents arrive and begin decorating the baby's room. Michael's classmates tease him at school. Michael has acrophobia which means he is afraid of heights. That's why he couldn't jump from the swimming platform. Michael is shown with a friend who is rooting for him. He flees all the boys who were bullying him. Michael notices a small cute rat. Seeing it, Michael becomes curious and starts chasing it. While chasing it, he reaches a shed nearby his house. Michael feels strange coming into this shed. He was also hearing some voices. Due to it, Michael runs towards his house being scared. Being surprised when Michael reaches his house he tells this to his mother. At that time, the condition of Michael's mother was worse. Michael becomes worried and calls the ambulance. Michael's mother delivers a premature baby girl in the hospital. Michael was happy to see his sister. The baby was kept in the hospital for a few days. Returning home Michael tells his father about the shed. They find nothing when they go to check. A few days passed. Michael asks a kid from his neighborhood to know about the shed. Michael goes inside the shed with his help. Moving into the shed he notices a strange man there. This man appears to Michael to be sick and impoverished. Michael becomes surprised seeing him. Returning home, he tries to tell his father about him. But Michael's father was worried due to his baby. Michael couldn't share this with his father and told this to his friend. His friend was serious about his swimming competition. He leaves while saying Michael to join the competition. Michael was worried because of this situation. Returning home, Michael meets his neighbor, but she was strange so he doesn't talk to her. Michael goes to meet the weird man in the shed. Michael asks him to help him but the man refuses. The next day, Michael goes to the hospital to meet his parents and his baby sister. The condition of his baby sister was worse. Michael meets an old lady in the hospital and seeing him tense she starts talking to him. Michael tells her about his baby sister. During the conversation, the old lady gives Michael a grape and says don't worry everything will be fine. The food was delivered at home at night. Michael goes to give the left food to the poor man in the shed. The man happily eats his given food. Michael notices the back of the man is strange. He also notices small wings there. Michael tells the old lady about the poor man when he goes to the hospital. The old lady says to Michael you should help that man. She again gives Michael a grape and Michael's sister comes home. Michael becomes happy seeing his sister. Being happy, he brings food and medicines for that man. So he will be fine soon. The man starts recovering from the medicine, one day, Michael was playing with his friend. Suddenly, he realizes something bad has happened in his house. He runs towards his house. It discovers this baby sister is not well. She was taken to the hospital in an emergency. Michael again becomes depressed. He becomes aggressive on bushes. The strange man also understands Michael's depression. Meanwhile, Michael's neighbor arrives. To make Michael feel better she takes him to the lake. There was an old tower near that lake. Michael's neighbor starts talking to him. Michael feels good due to it. Michael discovers his sister has a heart problem. Michael couldn't do anything to save his sister. That's why he used to stay upset all the time. He has a hope maybe the strange man can help him in all this. He goes to the man and tells him everything about his sister. He asks him to make his sister fine. I know you have some powers from which you can make everything fine. Hearing this, the man declares all humans and animals, whether older or younger, have to die. I can't help you in saving your sister. Michael becomes furious hearing this and leaves. The next day, Michael makes his neighbor meet that man. The girl becomes curious seeing that man. Michael's sister wasn't recovering so his father becomes depressed. They move to break the shed. But Michael jumps on his bed and falls from the roof. Like this, he stops his father to go into the shed. The next day, Michael again meets the old lady. The old lady notices Michael is worried. She encourages Michael to fight the difficulties of life. The doctors tell this baby girl has a heart problem. It has no treatment. When Michael's father was cleaning the house at night, 
He again goes to remove the shed. He doesn't stop even after being stopped. Michael takes the man out from the burning shed. He hides the man in the tower with the help of his neighbor. Surprisingly, it happens good to Michael for doing good to that man. Like his father makes him understand we will live nicely until the kid is with us. They decorate the room for the baby girl. The baby girl was brought home after this. They start living happily. Michael and his neighbor collect the food items and move to help the poor man. Because the man cared nicely, he was recovering. Later, the man tells my name is Skellig and I am a creature, not a human. I've been here since humans first appeared on the planet. He also shows them his wings. Those were broken, Skellig was healing gradually. One day, he walks. Michael's hands were burnt and he saved Skellig from the fire. Later, Skellig holds Michael on his neighbor's hand. They start flying in the air because of it. Michael and the girl make Skellig's wings clean. They make him look good. Michael and his neighbor leave from there. Michael notices the burnt marks on his hands were healed. It means Skellig is a magical creature. He was depressed and worried due to being alive for a long time. This is the reason he stays quiet. He doesn't see any hope in his life. He doesn't believe in him. There was Michael's sister's operation the next day. He asks for help from Skellig reaching him immediately. Please make my sister fine, but Skellig says I can't help you with this. Being upset, Michael moves to the hospital to meet the old lady. He discovers the old lady died yesterday night. Michael remembers what the old lady has said. She said that if you are a good person, good things will happen to you. You'd never forget your humanity. Michael again moves to Skellig to ask for help from him to save his sister with his magic. Michael's friend lost a competition at school because Michael did not attend. He moves in search of Michael in anger. He notices Michael is going near the tower. Being furious, he comes to Michael to ask what is in that tower. Michael says I will tell you everything later. My sister is in the hospital she needs me. Michael's friend leaves that's why. Michael again arrives at Skellig. He says you are a good human you can make my sister fine. Skellig says no I can't help you. This, according to Michael, is not the case. This world is based on faith and hope. I will bring your faith back to life. Instead of being scared of height, Michael moves to the top of the tower. Skellig will save him in this hope he jumps from there. Skellig gets scared seeing this and opens his wings to save Michael. He saves Michael from falling. Later, they fly from upside the lake. The small boy had again revived the man. He gave him hope there are many people in this world who need Skellig's help. After it, Skellig feels his life like before. They fly for such a long time in the sky. During this, Michael sleeps. While putting Michael in a safe place, Skellig moves to the hospital to see Michael's sister. He makes Michael's mother sleeps with his magic. He lifts the small baby girl. Meanwhile, the baby girl who was sick becomes fine. The doctors also become shocked seeing this. The next day, Michael's neighbor awakes him and he runs to see his sister. Seeing his sister fine his eyes were filled with tears of happiness. He knows this happened because of Skellig. His parents were also happy. Michael gives his sister the name of the old lady. He will never forget the person who instilled faith and hope in him, and encouraged him to help others. This was a happy family now. Michael meets his friend and clears all the misunderstandings. With it, he also apologizes to him. Michael and his neighbor again go to meet Skellig. They thank Skellig while giving him his favorite wine and food. Skellig tells them now it's the time for me to leave. Because you, Michael, have given me courage. I am going to assist the people who need me. With this happy ending, this lovely film comes to a close. If you like this explanation video, please subscribe our channel and enjoy watching more videos.